I've opened up the SimsUShare CTC web page, which is available at ctc.simsushare.com. It's also available in the menu bar under CTC login from the simsushare.com website. So I'm showing you a couple different views that will be on different computers. The left, I'm going to use my instructor or could be an evaluator login. And so I'm going to type in my login name and password, and then I'm going to click on instructor login. On the right hand side on the top, I have the SimsuShare app running. And on the bottom, I have the web client or the web version of the participant. And we're going to see how that's used in a moment. So in the CTC, what I do is I can check my simulations by going to the simulation tab. These are the ones I've loaded. Here are some of the free simulations I can load into my account. The exercises tab is where I start an exercise. I hit create. I give a name of the, the exercise. I'm going to call it like the street address, 123 Main Street. Now the code is a single use code that you make up and you're going to be giving that to your participants. So I'm going to call this one Main ST, Main Street, and then I'm going to choose the simulation I want to use for the exercise. So I'm going to use this one 1024 Stockton and I'm going to hit create. So now this is telling me here the staging area. This will hold all the participants before they get into the scenario if I want to hold them here. Now the code I'm going to tell my participants is main ST, lowercase there. So I'm going to go into the Sims you Share app, go to, to my participant here is going to start multiplayer mode, going to connect to the CTC server. And here is where they're going to type in their exercise code and their unit name, engine one. And they're going to do the same thing if they happen to be using the browser version. So if I go here and say, okay, battalion, this is going to be battalion one and exercise code is going to be main ST, whatever is most convenient for you to use. So on my Sims user app, I hit join. Now over here, it's going to tell me uh, that it's already got the simulation on my computer or device. So I'm going to keep it. If the simulation wasn't there, then it would re-download it automatically. Now, once it says waiting for controller to start, you notice how on my instructor or evaluator panel, it's telling me they're ready to go. Now I can always hit start here and get them into the exercise even if all my participants haven't joined yet. So I'm going to go now onto my browser based um, participant. I'm going to hit create here and it's going to start loading there. And now you'll see here I've got two tokens, engine one and battalion one. Again, these would be three different computers. So now as each computer mo participant moves around, you'll see on the left hand side of the screen how it's showing up where that participant is. Engine one is moving around. These are going to be your different locations or your different views. So now as I go on either the web-based one or the participant or the, the app-based one, I'm getting the same thing. Now I can also go here if I want to move a participant, I can say pick up battalion one and go to AB. So there's that and they, they're moving there. Now a couple little orientation things here. You've got a transcript. Everything that happens in the CTC is here. On the instructor view here, you can see there's also a little preview. I can use that preview window as the instructor or evaluator to see what it would look like. Because again, remember, this is going to be your own window. You're not seeing these other two views. Those are on separate computers. Um, so this window here in the bottom right just gives you a quick way you can even follow as um, uh, whichever participant you want. You'll see it now I clicked on engine one, so it's the, the view is tracking engine one. So now at the bottom here, I have the instructor has his or her own little manipulating uh, little screen here to go around and check whichever picture they want to see. That's the basic idea. Communication here, I can actually send a message and say, uh, let's say on scene 10 minutes. And when I click OK, you'll see they get that message, both of them on screen 10. They have to clear it and they're OK. If I want to send it to an individual unit, I just click whichever one I want here, I'd like here. Now, all your locations will be laid out in row, a row. Um, we only have three here, so it's not that interesting. Um, if we were to actually do a more interesting scenario, let me show you something here with with more with different evolving conditions. Let's do like uh, I'm going to do one, two, three, a Maple Street, and here I'm going to make my code Maple, my one-time code, and I'm going to use some a different scenario, which has a lot more con uh, different conditions and locations. I'm going to hit Create, and I'm just going to start this scenario, and we're going to see here. And so I'm going to go over here. I'm going to tell my participants, use the code Maple. 
So I'm, instead of um, exercise code, I'll use maple, hit join. It's already on this computer, so I'm going to keep it. And on this one over here, I'm going to reload. Get back here, and this is going to be now using maple as the code. Hit create. And now you see they have a lot more opportunity. As engine one is now moving around, you can see on the left-hand side of the screen. Remember as well, let's imagine you want to now have an evaluator. Well, the evaluator would also go to ctc.simsyoushare.com. I'll just go here and um, pretend that I'm there. Now notice the exercise keeps running, but let's say you're on a different computer here, and I'm now going to go in and um, I'm going to go to my evaluator. I'm going to go there, and now I go, all I got to do is exercise, and I go to the exercise that's currently running, and I hit join. And now the evaluator gets the same exact screen as the instructor. Um, now, what's useful, what's different about this scenario, you'll notice is it has kind of this, this grayed out area. And what this grayed out area is where you have different conditions. So if I now go um, and I'm moving around, I, these are again all my different slides, my locations, but this is a really neat feature and unique feature of Sims you Share. If I name my slides with this special square bracket, it will consider all the locations as belonging to those specific, we call them states or conditions. So all I have to do is you watch as I actually change the condition to let's say W, and it doesn't have to be a single letter. Watch what happens. They all switch over to their corresponding position in the other condition. So this makes it extremely easy to change your conditions. Now that just gives you a brief overview of the Sims you Share CTC and how you can actually run it remotely.